Spotify has been hard at work adding music marketing features to their platform. I believe they see a gap in the market that they may be able to fill as it relates to how we as artists market our music to get streams specifically on Spotify itself. In fact, at this year's Stream On event, they covered three distinct avenues that they are slowly rolling out over time for us to market our music on their platform. So this has me thinking, how can these new features that Spotify is working on to market music on Spotify itself integrate with what we have been doing for so long in the world of Facebook and Instagram ads specifically. Well, I've been rolling this idea around in my head for the past week or so, and I feel like I have a pretty good game plan of how these different pieces might fit together to create a very unique opportunity for those of us who are paying attention. Now, a brief overview of the marketing features that Spotify has recently discussed. They have Marquee, Discovery Mode, and Showcase. Now, for our immediate purposes, we're gonna forget about Showcase. If we get more information about it, maybe we'll plug it into this system that we outline in this video. But for now, we're gonna focus on Marquee and Discovery Mode on Spotify. We're gonna talk about how that can integrate with Facebook ads. So as I see it, there are three distinct levels here. Facebook ads is the foundation of everything that we do. The second level is Spotify's Marquee. Key feature. Now this is available only for new releases and will help us to get to the third level, which is Spotify's discovery mode. So let's start at the beginning. Why is Facebook ads the foundation of all of this? Why wouldn't we use one of Spotify's features as the foundation for our advertising now that they're rolling this stuff out? Well, at its most basic level, the answer is because we don't have access to Spotify's features unless we have reached a certain level on the platform. To get access to level two, which is marquee, we have to have a couple of different things. First of all, we have to be based in Australia, the UK, or the United States. We also have to have at least 5,000 streams over the past 28 days or 1,000 followers all inside of one single market. That means if we're a brand new artist starting out on Spotify, we can't use Marquee. And the reason I'm placing discovery mode at level three above Marquee is because you have to have at least 25,000 average monthly listeners on Spotify to even open up the opportunity to use that feature, which means if you come all the way down the pyramid, Facebook ads is an absolute necessity to drive traffic to your Spotify profile if you are an artist starting from zero. Yes, you can go the organic route and create content, and you should alongside running your ads. However, if you want any semblance of a guarantee, using some form of paid advertising, I believe is a very smart move because organic content can be hit or miss. There's a much higher learning curve to figure out how to make a good engaging video for a lot of people, especially those who aren't good on camera or who are uncomfortable making content. Ads is a lower barrier to entry to access some sort of uh, return on your time and energy and effort to build your following on Spotify so that we can get to level two, marquee, and level three, discovery mode. Okay, so we've defined our levels. Facebook ads, level one, marquee, level two, discovery mode, level three of this pyramid. So we have to get to 5,000 streams in the last 28 days or 1,000 followers in one specific market to unlock marquee. So that is the job of our Facebook ad campaigns. Now here's the breakdown of the results of my Facebook advertising campaign for all of 2023 so far. And I've broken everything down by country. Now you can see here that the United States of America is where I'm getting the majority of my results. After that is Germany, the UK, Canada. My results here tell me that there is some opportunity for me to even narrow my targeting beyond what I've already done and double down on some of these countries where people are responding more readily to my advertising and my music. Because if we come over to Spotify for artists, you can see that I've gotten over 10,000 streams in the last 28 days inside the United States. I've also gotten over 10,000 streams in Germany over the past 28 day period. But if we narrow it down to just the United Kingdom, which was the third most successful country inside of my advertising campaign, you can see that I I haven't quite reached that 5,000 streams mark in the last 28 days to open up marquee in this country, which is why if you look at the most recent marquee campaigns that I ran, I was only able to run them in the US and Germany because I have enough streams in those two countries to open up that option. You can also see that the same is the case for Canada and Australia. So it makes sense to double down on countries like the United Kingdom and Canada and maybe potentially 
even Australia to try to unlock these markets for Marquee as well. So once I've used my ads to get from zero to 5,000 streams a month or a thousand followers in at least one market, now I can use Marquee to boost every new release the release day that it comes out. So I can keep running my ads to grow that fan base and that following in that country or those multiple countries. I can spike each release with marquee campaigns in the markets that are available to me. And then eventually I will find myself in the position where I have 25,000 average monthly listeners, and then I'll be able to unlock discovery mode. And with discovery mode, assuming I have enough songs that meet the criteria for me to unlock it, now I can trade some of my revenue to boost the amount of exposure and reach and engagement I get on my music on Spotify itself to lift my entire catalog as a result. And from that point, it's really just a matter of continuing to run my ads to lift the ship, using discovery mode to lift that ship as well, and then releasing music repeatedly and using marquee to push new music so that it gets to release radar within the first four weeks and then ultimately lands on discover weekly every single time. If I can do that, then I've got a system that leverages the power of Facebook Facebook ads, as well as the power of Spotify's new marketing features to create this sort of flywheel of growth for me as an artist. So that's sort of how I see this playing out potentially. As these features roll out and as I get access to them, I will be testing this stuff and I'll see if this sort of idea that I have in my head actually plays out the way that I hope that it will. So if you wanna follow along and you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you're curious to learn more about Spotify stream on event and the other features features they announced this year, then check out this video right here. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.